And Federal Treasurer Josh Frydenberg joins me now. Treasury, you've had a meeting with the major banks and insurers today. How confident are you that Australians will get what they need to rebuild in a timely manner? Well, the Insurance Council and the various CEOs that we met with today made it very clear that their priority is to deliver that support. They're already providing emergency accommodation uh, to those who have lost everything. Uh, they're pro providing cash uh, payments to, uh, to help people get through this immediate period. Um, they're also bringing in additional staff, some from overseas, in order to get the assessors into the field and they're placing uh, representatives in the recovery centres to deal directly with people who are affected. Uh, and they're also engaged already with builders uh, to assist in the rebuilding process where they're placing a real priority on local tradespeople. So their focus is the same as the government's focus, which is to deliver the support to people who need it most. Now, uh, one of our viewers, uh, Lorraine, wrote in with a good question about what about the farmers and what about the areas that, that fall through the cracks? She says, uh, we know homes will be looked after. Uh, what will happen to our farmers as they rebuild? Uh, the government announced yesterday a $2 billion National Bushfire Recovery Fund which will support uh, small businesses but also primary producers when they start to restock and to replant uh, as well as important economic and community infrastructure. But the experience that we had with the North Queensland floods is that there is uh, federal money going to be available to those primary producers. A lot of people asking us, uh, a lot of our viewers wanting to know about premiums. Does this, you know, more broadly mean that premiums will go up generally for people who are already struggling to pay? Well, it's too early to tell what the full impact will be on premiums, but obviously this is a dramatic disaster and it uh, in, will involve significant costs not only to the insurance companies but uh, to, to federal and state governments but our priority is not on uh, the bottom line our priority is on helping those who need our help and the Prime Minister has made it very clear uh, that the cost is not an issue here what is an issue is how quickly we can get operational and financial support uh, to people who need it most. Yeah, obviously the cost to life and, and to property and to people's livelihoods is number one, but how much of a hit has this whole crisis been economically for the country? Uh, it's too early to tell the full economic impact of, uh, of these bushfires, but certainly the rebuild uh, will take time and the communities cannot do it alone, so we will do everything um, that we can to support those communities get through this very challenging period ahead. Josh Frydenberg, thank you. Thank you.